Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm about to take the first step in uh, something that I've been planning for a little while, but this will be the first like concrete thing that I do that is committing myself to actually doing this thing. And that is buying my plane ticket to Thailand, my one-way plane ticket. I cannot afford a plane ticket to Thailand. That's just the bottom line. But my job uh, requires me to fly often. And so I've accumulated enough miles recently, that's why this is happening, to be able to buy my flight via miles. So today is the morning of Sunday, October 20th. I am planning on leaving January 9th. And so I figured I might as well get it as early as possible. Okay, so this isn't the best view, but it's what we're working with because I'm not a professional vlogger. So I'm signing in here. And I have 46,210 available miles. So, like I was saying, I have <clears throat> a little over 46,000 miles available, and the last time that I checked cost about 45,000 miles for a one-way ticket to Thailand. I'm going to do one way, use miles from Baltimore to... I'm gonna fly into Bangkok because that's the easiest place to fly into. This is gonna be for January 9th, which is a Thursday, and find flights. I don't know why, I just feel so nervous because this is the first time that I'm like actually, like I've been planning here and there, I figure like where I'm gonna go and all of that, but I'm actually like purchasing a ticket I will have a secured departure date, a seat, all of that. I don't know. It's just so much to take in. It's actually, yeah, 40,000 is how much a main class costs. The last time I went to Thailand, I flew from San Francisco to Osaka, Osaka to Bangkok, and I think I'm gonna do a similar thing, except I'm starting at at BWI, so I'm gonna connect differently. There's a flight that departs at 7.05 a.m. from BWI to LAX, arrives at 10.15. At 12.45 p.m., my flight will leave LAX and arrive at 6.15 p.m. the next day. And then at 12.40, 12 the following day, my flight from Osaka leaves to Bangkok and arrives at Bangkok at 5 a.m. That's what I did last time. It was not that bad. The only thing is arriving at Bangkok early in the morning is just, it's weird, but I'll talk about that in another video. It's a 33 hour, almost 34 hour, like total flight. Um, and I think I'm gonna do it. Whew. Okay, so I'm adding it to my cart here. So the only money that I owe is $27.90, so $28. So I guess what I'm looking at here is the fact that this departs on a Thursday and I won't technically arrive until Saturday morning. And I want to go up to Chiang Mai the following day, which would be a Sunday, and so I just wanna make sure that the trains are running. So, it looks like we're good. Um, yeah, looks like we're fine in terms of getting up there. Um, all right, so for this very long flight that probably would have cost me at least $600, I am paying $27.90. Okay, so I just hit purchase. Oh my gosh. 
I have 24 hours to cancel this. I'm not, but just saying. I did it. After many months of thinking about this, of saving, it was either traveling for a year or putting a down payment on a house in a city that I don't want to live in. <laughs> so I'm just moving forward with taking a year off from working. I need this so badly. Wow. But as of right now, I am booked to leave for a year starting January 9th, 2020. All right. Hi, it's me again. Um, <laughs> the last time I took a video, it was maybe four weeks ago when I first bought my ticket to Thailand. And that was a big moment and a lot has happened since then. But I just haven't really felt like picking up the camera. I like forced myself to pick up the camera because next week is when I'm going to give my notice to my job. I want to give my job enough notice so that they can actually like hire someone new. I don't really want to leave them in like a lurch or anything. It's not anything like that. And I think a lot of people, like when I tell people that, that I'm giving such big notice, even my parents, they're like, don't do that. Like don't, because you know, people start to like act strangely when you give such big notice. And I hear that. And at the same time, yeah, I just, I like actually really like my job. Like, I like my job. It's very mentally draining and I still wanna leave, but my job hasn't been like bad to me. And so I just don't wanna, you know, leave them in like a lurch, even though like no matter what, I'm gonna be leaving. I bought my ticket also so that I couldn't be talked out of not going, <laughs> which is like so real. So, since then, I have had to do, do a few things and then I still need to do like a whole bunch of, a whole bunch more, which I think I'm gonna talk a little bit about here. I'm not a vlogger. This is like, vlogging is very difficult. Organizing your thoughts in a way that's coherent that you see in a lot of travel vlogs is really actually very difficult. And, and if you don't wanna like spend a lot of time like storyboarding or like, actually thinking about how you want to tell a story about things, it can get very difficult to just, I don't know. So instead, I'm just gonna talk so I might repeat certain things, and I might repeat certain things in future videos, but this is the only way that I know how to do it without it having, you know, having it be overwhelming and still keeping it something that I'm like interested in doing. Top priority is like documenting this in some way because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like take another trip like this. But so things that I've done since then, I bought my ticket, but I needed to choose my seating on my Japan Airways or Airlines flight. So I did that. I am about to, so I'm in the process of like packing up because I'm about to move. I feel like I've really ch like, changed so many aspects of my life in order to make this happen. So <laughs> next week I am leaving to go be with my parents, live with them for the next, all the way through December and then obviously through January. And I don't know, it feels so surreal. So I've been packing. I'm about to, I have, I'm packing up my, I have a ton of books upstairs. Uh, I'm a reader and so packing up my books, packing up like my clothes, all of that is just, I don't know, more like all of, all of the like hard work. This is like the longest project that I've worked on for myself from like setting financial goals and meeting them, rearranging my life in terms of moving out of a city that I'd lived in for 10 years to save more money um moving in with my parents which i didn't think i don't know it just it all feels very surreal to me for that to happen but yeah here i am it's now november i don't know sometime in mid-november 
and like 15th or 16th and I'm about to move and this is like the final stage and these are all the things that I planned out for myself and it really I think makes me feel like proud of myself for going through this and going through with it okay so I'm just doing a quick check-in I'm terrible because I said that I was going to check in prior to um, letting my job know that I was leaving, but I did not do that. And, um, you know, vlogging is hard. Okay, so cut me some slack. So we're here the day after Thanksgiving. I have let my job know that I'm planning on leaving. And I have also moved from my friend Bree's house to North Carolina for this last month before I leave. Um, so I was very nervous. I think in the last video that I did or vlog that I did, um, I was very nervous and anxious and I didn't, I just didn't want them to like flip out on me <laughs> or, you know, have it be like scorched earth or anything like that because I really do love and enjoy my job. I just feel like I have to take this trip at this time. My direct supervisor, who is the now the executive director of the organization, was very like zen and chill about it, <laughs> um, which I was not expecting. He was so nice. Uh, I felt like so uptight. It was after this really big fundraiser that we did where everyone um, from our organization was in in town in DC and I yeah I just sort of asked him to get coffee in the morning and let him know and yeah he was super pleasant about it um, I cried a lot because I just didn't want to disappoint and also um, this particular person had been really good to me while I was working taught me a lot was never like just never treated me poorly so I didn't want it to be as if I was leaving because of him or anybody at the organization really and so yeah I just wanted to make sure that that came across and it made me very emotional so I was like boohooing like a baby. Anyways after that I just felt like this huge weight was lifted off of me honestly because I was able to I don't know like all of the different stages that I had sort of set out around this from like raising money to, um, you know, move, whatever. This is one of those like big stages where I'm like, okay, I'm for sure doing this. Buying the ticket was one of those things too, because once you buy the ticket, you can't, I bought it with miles. So I don't think I can get those back, but <laughs> um, buying the ticket and buying, you know, and letting my job know that I'm leaving. Um, so it was a really big step and I felt a lot of relief. I felt kind of like, euphoric after that because I felt like so much weight had been lifted off of my off of my mind of things that I'm worrying about and whatnot and then I had to dive right back in to packing up so um so yeah it was it was a lot um but I'm here have my stuff I am putting some of it into storage and my parents are going to take some of it and then I have a month left here so yeah I made it it's you know we're here I was so nervous but we're here and I feel like I'm already learning so much about I don't know like again how to move through being scared or being having anxiety about something but still doing it and also walking in your purpose because I could have you know gotten scared and been like oh this isn't for me but it's important to continue forward um and it feels like the universe is sort of moving in the direction of making things work for me so I feel like I'm on the right track um so yeah that's where I'm at <laughs>